Tools that actually wear down? Biome-specific iron golems? There are so many textures that Minecraft would sadly never change. Especially not all of the mobs. That's right, Minecraft's mobs currently are so stiff and plain in my eyes. So thank goodness that with this pack, each and every mob in the game gets their long-deserved makeover, complete with improved textures and animations. Slimes bounce around like jelly, zombies and husks stumble forward like the undead mobs they are, and both spiders and creepers look, well, creepier than ever. Then there's the ghasts. We, uh, you don't talk about the ghasts. There are plenty of unique sights to go around, with every mob in the game getting a glow up. Well, every mob except for one. Meet the trading wanderer. Looks like here, the trader and his llamas decided to swap places. This is actually so ridiculous that I don't know which one I'm supposed to trade with. I'm guessing you? Whoa, is that a flaming diamond sword? Yes, obviously. Huh? Ah! This flaming sword is just one small part of a resource pack that massively overhauls all enchanted gear. I'm talking armor, weapons, tools, and books. Each enchantment changes the texture of gear in different ways. And not only that, but if you experiment with different enchantment combinations, you can get some crazy cool and unique results. Unbreaking gives items this obsidian texture, while mending gives them a green sheen. Even more unconventional items like shields, fishing rods, and lighters can be customized in crazy combinations. My favorite though has to be the Swift Sneak boots because it just replaces them with this pair of socks. Hehe, <laughs> I'm not alerting any wardens with these bad boys, which is perfect given the world has become entirely infested with skulk. This pack creates a world of horrors, my friend, where anything and everything has been turned to the dark side. Villagers, for example, have begun their terrifying transformations into warden illagers. Every hostile mob has become skulkified as well, meaning they're nearly impossible to spot at a glance, making them much more dangerous. While every mob looks a bit more evil, at least the passive mobs are still peaceful. This is still not going anywhere near that pig though. <gasps> My crops are ready! Oh, oh, oh boy! Just look at all those dancing exclamation points! This pack is perfect for absent-minded farmers like myself, because when your crops are all nice and ready, they'll get those bouncing beacons above them. And it works on amethyst crystals. Now, I'll never miss harvesting time, which is great for crops and rocks, but with the addition of these new sapling textures, we could watch our little baby twigs grow and mature into giant trees! Giant round trees? Wait, circles? In my Minecraft? Never! Although, I have to admit, it's paired with Minecraft's pixel aesthetic so well that I kinda like it. We could even use a different pack to retexture the leaves into these bushier, more leaf-like models. Now I think that is a tree best left unchopped. Minecraft in the trailers looks beautiful! So what if the game looked like that too? Thankfully, with the use of the bare bones resource pack, we can give our world those exact same textures. Then, if you pair it with the better animations pack and a shader pack, then now our Minecraft worlds look identical to the ones in those trailers. The mobs are all so beautifully animated, while the world itself feels much more inviting. It's all so vibrant. And that is terrifying! Is that a sheep dragon? <laughs> and an army of sheep mobs? <laughs> sheep zombies, sheep creepers, and a sheep? Wait, that's not scary. <laughs> oh my! Yes, with the sheepified resource pack, everything is sheep! From the creatures of the overworld, like bees, fish, and ravagers, to the monsters of the nether, like striders, hoglins, and blazes. There is no escape from the sheep. So it's time to burn it all away with this enhanced fire pack. With it, Minecraft's fires can look like this instead of like this. The added variety to textures really helps break up the repetitive look of the original, making it much more visually pleasing when you're burning down your frenemy's house or burning away the evils of all sheep kind. Be gone, foul beasts! 
And it pairs real nicely with this rekindled pack that overhauls every animated texture in the game when paired with shaders, making them more detailed and twice as smooth. Some of these blocks truly look amazing, especially when compared to the originals. And even some particles are changed, like fiery explosions for TNT and bubbles coming up instead of swirls for potion effects. More helpful though is this pack that adds health bars. They'll now appear above every mob in the game once they've been attacked, which is great. No longer do I have to guess how many more hits it'll take to kill a skeleton. All I need is one more good hit. No way. I have like mountains of health. I, I can literally see that you don't. Foiled by a resource pack! Yeah. What the? Oh, <laughs> looks like our next pack here adds in skeleton physics. So now, instead of just poofing into the void, <laughs> skeletons will instead collapse into a pile of old bones. Much more satisfying, especially with sound. You can even pair it with the item physics pack for extra detail. Now a skeleton's dropped bow, or any other item for that matter, will fall flat on its face instead of floating upright. It's a nice change that gives the game a more natural feel, if you ignore the spinning. Though, I've never seen a pickaxe like that before. Probably because it's just one of the many, many custom tools, weapons, and armor that you can get in the better vanilla building resource pack. By simply renaming any gear item, items can be customized into any number of unique styles. We've got a mushroom set, a skulk set, glass set, and best of all, we finally have a full turtle set. With so many armor and item options, players can truly express themselves more than ever before. Now I am the Turtle Lord. Now give me your bows. Yes, so many bows, which is perfect because now we can use them to make all of this. Moondrop is a pack that adds in all the kitchen and foodstuffs that Minecraft has seemingly refused to add over the years. Renaming various items like bowls, sweet berries, and bread can transform them into stuff like stacks of dishware, baskets of berries, and a plate of the cutest little bear-shaped sandwiches. You can even rename some blocks to get furniture, like these cabinets. Everyone needs a cozy place to eat, though for those less than cozy places, you'll definitely want to grab some torches from this reimagine pack. Now, torches are 3D and have fire particles coming off of them while they're in your hand. It's leagues better than the boring old texture, especially when paired with the dynamic light mod, so you can actually see where you're walking. Not only that, but lanterns are also 3D now and are held above the screen. It looks way more immersive, just like the fancy menu overhaul pack. It takes every interactable block menu and reimagines them to be themed around the actual block. Like the simple addition of having the crafting table textured here really makes you feel like you're actually using a crafting table. And the same goes for other blocks, like the fancy enchantment table or the bubbly brewing stand, which should definitely be paired with the brewing guide pack. It adds this convenient in-game brewing guide right next to your brewing menu for all your potion crafting needs. You'll never have to look up a recipe again. I absolutely love it. What do you think? A screaming goat's pack? Who would want this? Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm sure lots of people love screaming goats. <laughs> Back, you animals! Or I'll slay you with my tiny sword? Uh, well, this tiny tools pack is great for players who want less of their screen obstructed by their tools, and they all look really small and funny, but I need something a bit bigger right now. Ooh, this long swords pack sounds promising. Whoa! Okay, well now my sword is a mile long. Well, this just seems unnecessary. Uh, right, guys? <laughs> ah! 
Ah, next! Look at all these new beds from the Fancy Beds Pack. It replaces all 16 color variations with these awesome new patterns. We've got one fit for a sailor, this dreamy night sky, and a classic creeper bed. Maybe one day we'll be able to decorate our beds with banners. But for now, I'll take the extra customization. Like this, a super bed. Feels right at home with the Super Mario Pack. It turns any Minecraft world into a Super Mario inspired paradise. All mobs in the game are replaced with their Mario counterparts. Wolves are turned into Goombas, which can of course be tamed, and horses are now Yoshis. Though some of the mobs here look more cursed. <laughs> Regardless, there's plenty to see in all the different biomes and caves. Just don't ever visit the end, because that's where the Bowser dragon lurks. Wait, lush golems? Diamond golems? Amethyst golems? These are only a few of the new golem variants added in the golems galore pack. Imagine if when a golem was created, instead of this basic look, its appearance could change based on the location it's born into. Oh wow, you are so beautiful. They can also be renamed to get even more unique variants, like the Copper Golem, Furnace Golem, or Bling Golem. Oh, I bet you think you're so much better than all the other Golems, huh? Well, you're not! These guys are! Because if you build an Iron Golem in the Nether, you'll instead get these Barbarians. And these piglin monstrosities themselves come in tons of variations. As if that wasn't enough, when paired with the Gory Glory Pack, all golems will now break down more than ever when damaged, even losing whole limbs. It's a lot harder to miss if your golem needs a repair now, especially compared to those cracks they used to get. Wow, all these new golem features are so crazy. I think my head might just explode. Uh, don't worry, I got you, pal. Now, defend me from that army of stubby mobs. This pack replaces all hostile mobs in the game with these shorter and, I must say, cuter enemies. I mean, just look at that piglin riding in a gas balloon. It's adorable. Meanwhile, zombies are changed into tiny goblins, some even riding on wolves. But then check out the skeletons. Haha, <laughs> looks like somebody didn't drink their milk. Oh yeah? Yeah. Uh, okay, I am out of here. <laughs> ah, is that a wither? Ah! Uh, wait, okay. Look, I'm sorry, but I'm just not feeling that threatened. You're too goofy looking. I can't believe this. Whew, okay, good thing he left. My sword was about to break. Yeesh. Because of the diminishing tools pack, item textures now actually reflect their durability instead of just having that little red bar below them in the menu. This makes it a lot easier to tell how busted something is when floating on the ground, while also providing some extra detail to the game. Don't know why something like this hasn't been added yet, but uh, what about a new weapon? Like this gun! <laughs> Say goodbye to the pathetic twang of your crossbow and hello to the powerful blam of the hunting rifle. Oh boy, I got him! Along with this weapon upgrade come bullets to replace arrows, perfect for any skilled hunting enthusiast. Bam! What the? Bam! Mm, okay, that does it! Luckily for me, I've got man's best friend, a dragon! Sick him, boy! That's right, this pack changes Minecraft's wolves into legendary tiny mythical beasts. And they come in tons of colors. Plus, they can even be dyed to get the color of your choice. If you want a pet that'll defend you to the end, they'll attack mobs with the hottest of flames and can be renamed to wear armor. Just don't let them anywhere near your sheep farm. Uh, maybe I should have built a wall instead of a fence. But can you blame me when wooden fences look this good? Seriously, every wood type has unique doors, so why not fences too? This pack revamps each and every fence type in the game from the same model to these special designs. Even bamboo and cherry. It's enough to make your neighbors jealous. Hey, Ned! What? You jealous of my cool fences? No. Huh. 
Lame. What are you even doing over here? Oh, you're playing chess with the chess pack? This resource pack allows you to rename bone blocks into different chess and checkers pieces so you can battle it out with your friends. Um, Ned, are you playing by yourself? Yes. Do you want me to leave? Yes. Am I smarter than you? Yeah. Wait. What? No Dixie Faxies! But even geniuses need a little help sometimes. And thankfully, the Redstone Tweaks Pack is here to make redstoning easier. It adds a visible number value to redstone blocks and dust to help players visualize their power outputs. Among other things, you can easily tell at a glance what note and instrument are assigned to a note block or if a music disc is in your jukebox. It'll also add extra details to item names in the inventory to show you the item's redstone power and activation times. Though, for the adventurers, this legendary pack is where it's at. It takes all the vanilla armor and upgrades it into these fantastic beasts. Each one uniquely designed with its own model and textures. I'd be happy to wear any of them. Though the fiery netherite set is definitely my favorite. I mean, just look at it. Oh, I should also mention that the elytra gets a visual overhaul too. Now it's a sick pair of dragon wings. Makes it look more like something you'd expect to find in the end. Unlike that axolotl in a bucket. What are you doing here, little guy? Oh, I can turn my items and tools from 2D to 3D with the special resource pack, you say? <laughs> Including most tools, items, and even animated gear, like the bow and crossbow? That's incredible! But uh, what about potions? <gasps> potions are also 3D! Astounding! Though I definitely still prefer these stylized potions, because even with the recent potion color changes in 1.19.4, it can still be difficult to know what you're looking for. So on top of the new designs just looking awesome, adding in a unique bottle shape for every potion really helps each one stand out. I'll never mistake a potion of poison for a potion of water breathing again. Ah, oh, rain? <sighs> Well, it is perfect umbrella weather, and this pack has all villagers pulling them out whenever a storm starts. They come in over 20 different colors too. Kinda wish I had one. Haha, <laughs> look at the umbrella list loser. Haha, <laughs> yeah! Hey, don't bully me. You only have those umbrellas because of a resource pack that I put on. Oh yeah? Prove it, dork. <laughs> Though, when you have a lot of water, adding in detailed edges like these from the Water's Edge pack can really level up your builds. By renaming grass blocks and sand, you can get different variations of river or oceanside blocks. It really does look amazing. And if you rename a barrel, you can even get this awesome water wheel to add to your builds. Or you could just ride down the river on an axolotl. Since we don't have any rideable water mobs yet, we'll just have to get creative by using this pack that replaces Minecraft's boats with these giant squishy friends. They'll even wear helmets. Safety first. Now, swim! Wait, wait! Hold on. What is that? That sand. It looks awfully suspicious. Hmm. Probably because of the sus sand pack. If you ever find yourself struggling to locate those treasure filled blocks, then this makes certain that you won't miss it by replacing the original texture with this one. Save me! Um, what is the. Whoa! A parrot wearing a top hat? Yes! Save me! <laughs> Crazy to think, but with the pesky parrot's resource pack, he's only one of many new parrot variants. Aside from the colors, you have standouts like the glowy parrot, parrot in a floaty, or disco parrot. They can even be other animals entirely, like an owl, an ender dragon, or a puffer fish. Uh, okay. Shut up and save me! Save you? From what? Oh, yeah, well, that makes sense. A pack that replaces villagers with cats, and each feline still has a unique look based on the job they perform. 
Who wouldn't want this? I mean, I've always been more of a dog person, but... Uh, I, I don't mean it like... Uh, oh, oh, wow. That's a big, heavily armored cat. Ah! Yeah, even their iron golems are replaced with these blade-wielding cats. <laughs> Wait, look! A rat! Ow! Oh, I wouldn't have done that if I were you. Because those rats are actually retextured silverfish. With this pack, any silverfish has a 1 in 3 chance of spawning as a rat instead. Meaning you might see a lot of them crawling around your world's strongholds. Or, if you wanted to keep one as a pet, you could always just rename it Rat. Though, for pets, I prefer this retextured soul lantern. It takes the normal lantern's color swap and makes it 10 times cooler by having a visible spirit floating around on the inside, even when you're holding it. Let me go, pal! No way! I'm lonely. Fine! Will you at least go through that cool-looking portal over there? Cool looking? Oh, wow! That is cool! With the use of the mystical portal pack, nether portals get these weird flickering symbols. It's so mysterious, it almost makes me want to walk through it. <laughs> yeah, walk right in there, pal! Oh. Oh, wait, where am I? Ah! Oh, what the? Where did I spawn? Whoa, this place is so beautiful! Wait, am I dead? No, Box. This is a pack that adds in all kinds of new plant life. It's called Wild Plants. Wow! It looks like it adds new flowers, mushrooms, and even trees? Wait, if I'm not dead, then who are you? I'm you, doing a deep voice. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm just crazy, just like this circular hotbar pack. It takes everything you'd normally have littered above your hotbar and wraps it into this packed little circle. It's a nice visual changeup for those who want it, though riding a horse or adding extra hearts can get a little cramped. Then there's the Icons Overhaul Pack. It adds in additional icons throughout the game's menus to make them easier to recognize at a glance. The art all looks great too, and it can be paired with the Mobs Icon Pack to add in pixel art for each mob above their spawn eggs. Pretty nifty. Now, YouTube is betting that you'd like this video too. Why not check it out? Hmm?